Hey guys, so I have been opening for the past, I think, 14 or 16 hours. As you can see right here, I have 62 summons, which is absolutely crazy. 62 summons. I used around 10, I think, or 9 holiday boosts and like 8 or 9 uh, normal boosts. I still have 2 hours left here, uh, which is pretty cool. I'm going to keep opening, but... Right, we got this, we got this. Let's do a little dance here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Alright, we got this, we got this. Oh! First try, first try, first try. I have a new falcon, a new godly falcon right here. As you can see, we're gonna go ahead and ascend this guy. We need to make it into an ascension free. Just before we do go ahead and continue with the video, please do like the video and subscribe. It would really help me a lot if you do. Uh, we're gonna go right ahead here, ascend our champion. We need to get ascension one. And we also need to get ascension two. And we also need to get Ascension free. There we go. So we have our guy here, Ascension free. I'm going to make this into a warrior champion. So I'm going to make it a godly war falcon. The next step is to get good talents on this. We're going to aim for 145 and above on the talents. So I'm going to go right ahead to the talent place, the talent rerolls. And we're going to reroll. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and do it. Awesome, there we go. We have all the talents right here. Everything is above 145. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and get quirks on this guy. We need to get Titan and Boxer. We're going for a warrior build. I actually want to make this into my strongest champion. It seems that there's currently a bug with trying to get the new skin. A lot of people are doing raids and we're not getting the cosmic skin. Right now we need to get quirks on this and level it up. So I'm gonna do that first and then we'll finish up this champion. Uh, let's go ahead, I should have max medals to roll on it. So let's select it right here. Uh, we're rolling for Titan and Boxer. Okay, so we did not get any cosmic quirks with the 25,000 medals that I've had. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go do some raids. We're gonna use a drop boost. Let's use a holiday boost. Make our life a little bit easier and I'll also use a damage boost. We're going to use our drop team as well. We have it right here. Uh, for my drop team, for anyone who's interested, I always get question, what is my drop team? I have eight of these, which have Collector and Thief. It, my drop team could actually be a bit better if I had Blessed, on, blessed and Thief on all of them. Uh, but I don't really actually want to do that. It would take me a lot of time. And we have one strong champion on this team with 8.14Q. And in the Inspect, it has 22.4Q against bosses. This is a very strong boss champion because it has this rune with double boss damage. Uh, let's just get ahead. I'm going to do nightmare raids. So I'm actually going to be starting with my main team. And when I'm almost killing the boss, I will switch, switch to my drop team. Uh, so let's go ahead and do it.
Okay, so for anyone who's wondering how much medals I got, you can't actually see it in the in the thing after the raid because uh, there's too many skins when I collect my daily chest and when you can't see how many medals I got. You can see right here I got 9,000. I'll collect both of these chests and we'll be at 9,500 almost. And with our daily chest, we're getting... I think 1500 more, I'm not sure, how much is it? 11,000. So I got around 11,000 medals. Let's actually just look in the inventory. Uh, which medal is it? Yeah, 11,000 Rage medals, one Nightmare Raid. 11,000. Uh, which is very, very good. I'm just gonna go ahead and do like two more Nightmare Raids. And then I'll continue rerolling. Uh, this is what I meant. There's so many skins, so you actually can't see the medals. Okay, there we go. So I maxed my medals. Now we have... Where are they? Uh, here. 25,000. We're gonna go ahead and re-roll. Uh, we're rolling on Falcon... Falcon... In. uh damage this guy select and we're doing where is it boxer and titan let's just uh re-roll there we go awesome so we just got titan uh, now we just need to roll for Boxer, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so we did not get Boxer again. I'm gonna go ahead, do some more raids, and then we'll reroll again. Uh, let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna do some nightmares. Alright, there we go. So I maxed my medals again. I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll. Uh, we still need to get Boxer on our champion, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so I did not get it, and I need to do some more raids, uh, so here we are doing uh, some more raids, and uh, then we'll continue re-rolling. Okay, so here we are again. I started rolling on this. Uh, we have 25,000 more medals. And uh, let's hope we get it. We're rolling for Boxer. There we go, awesome. So we finally did get this boxer. Uh, we got Boxer and Titan on this champion right here. As you can see, it has 2.54Q. I already leveled it up and we have these two XP hammers here. I'm gonna switch them out for warrior hammers. I actually have not gotten the skin. I did more, more than a couple. 
Uh, oh wait, I did get the skin. Never mind. Okay, so well, let's reel on that. Wait, I thought I didn't get it. Okay, let's do it. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, reforge. We're going for warrior, obviously. We have a warrior build here. Let's hope we get it uh, not spend like a million scrap. Oh, I just rolled off of it. No. Okay, let's just go. Uh, okay, so I'm just going to keep keep this mage because I'm actually planning to make a mage champion eventually. And I'll just use two warrior hammers instead. Um, so let's have a look here. First, let's actually have a look at this skin, you know? I haven't seen how this skin looks. Let's unequip this hammer. Uh, and transform into it. Transform. Oh, there we go. Let's go in a place that has a bit more light. Wow, I like the effects. I like the effects very much. That is awesome. And we should have uh, maybe changed the face a bit because the face looks uh, a bit, a bit uh, like a very high contrast between the face and the armor. But I'm liking the armor very much. Very beautiful. Uh, okay, so what am I doing? Right now, I'm going to equip this warrior hammer here. And the second one, warrior hammer too. And let's have a look at the damage on this. And without the skin, it looks great as well. Kind of looks womanly. Uh, but he, so he does. But it also looks like that in the anime. So they did it pretty accurate. Uh, so we have 6.13 cube. On this champion right here which is very strong now i'm going to add the strongest rune that i have well not the strongest the second strongest that i have uh let me find it it's supposed to be yeah this one attack speed and damage we're going to remove it from my other champion and equip it on this guy let's do it so we have 6.13 q right now and with this rune we have eight point Damn, 10.4Q, that is a lot. 10.4Q, that is very, very good. Uh, let's go and actually see this guy's damage. Let's untransform and go... Oh, I also need to equip it. We're gonna go to test uh, this guy's DPS. Let's go to the dummy right here. Here we are. And let's see, 15.7Q. The thing is, this guy has a very high attack speed because we have this rune, you see, plus 110 attack speed. So it's doing a lot of damage, which is very good. Seems like it's averaging uh, about 28-29Q, which is very strong. Now, if I also equip some more champions with uh, buffs, I'll actually have more damage. Let me show you uh, this, for example. And what else? This. This. Um, I should have one more, I think. Yeah, this. Yeah, so have a look now. You see, now it has 30.4Q. And it's averaging about 15, about, almost 60Q. Almost 60Q. And on the damage right here, it's 124 so what happened actually is we have a bunch of passive runes like this one which adds boss damage and like this one which adds attack speed, uh, this one that adds punch damage and this one that adds uh, just damage. So that's why our DPS raised by quite a bit. Let's also do a test for this guy's damage against uh, Devourer. So I'm actually going to unequip these and equip these two that I have here. It would make this champion very, very strong. I'll show you. Uh, where is it? We're going to equip this astral skin right here on this. And the second astral skin right here. And we're only going to be equipping this champion, our Griffith, uh, right here. And I'll be going to do the, uh, the Devour Challenge. Let's see how much damage we can do.
there we go. So we completed uh, this. I did get stunned like two, tw twice or three times. Uh, I was just playing around and running around. So I did get stunned, but we did uh, 6.12A Omega A and 34Q total DPS, uh, which is very good. Uh, that's about it. That's about it. it. Uh, so this is about it. Uh, our champion is very strong. We completely maxed it out. It's a godly champion. I'm planning to hopefully get another godly and make it into a mage. Uh, but this is it for now. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. Let's uh, do a little thing here. Let's transform and equip the skin. Where is it? Uh, skin, skin, skin. There it is. Now we have cool looking skin, man. Do I have anything? Would this look cooler? Well, this looks cool, yeah. That looks very cool, doesn't it? No, that just looks funny. Uh, let's also have a look at it with the sword. Uh, yeah, that also looks cool. And with the hammer. Yeah, that also looks cool. The thing is, I don't have anything red. Maybe these would look very cool on it. Oh, yeah. This looks very cool. Now, this looks cool. Okay, so this is about it for today's video. I really, really hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, please do like the video and subscribe. It would really, really help me a lot if you do. Uh, join the Discord in the description for video announcements, some interaction with the community and me. Uh, I really hope you all have a good day, good morning, good night, good evening, good noon, good afternoon. I really hope to see you again soon. Goodbye for now.